some nights it might just be quiet, but because this squad is so proactive, uh, working under the, the sergeant that used to work with in the dope unit, Sergeant Goodner, um, we're always out. Even if it's a quiet night, we'll go out, we'll check warrants, we'll knock at do on doors three, four in the morning. Um, we don't uh, we don't stop. It's you know we'll start at 11 o'clock at night, and we'll end at seven, and it's nonstop taking people to jail, stopping out with cars traffic stops, stepping out with suspicious people, so it's, it's, uh, keep you up and it's, it's a pretty, uh, cool squad to be on. Suspicious vehicle right now, it, it's making turn after turn after turn after turn, rounding the same block. What color van was it? It's a white van, white van, occupied times two, it looks like two heavy set black males. Hey, he might, hey, Debbie, he might have just, uh, he might have something in there because he, he might have just dropped something off to this guy because he turned around right in front of this guy. I saw a guy messing with the ground. He's calling something up. So. Where's the guy that he threw, threw something out at? He was on uh, the first house door uh, south of 20. Uh, uh, that's the first house on the east side. Uh, Red shirt, black male? Yeah, 10-4. He's playing around with the ground, so he, he done dropped it or did whatever he had to do. But I'm sure he got it back uh, once I left. Oh, hang on, he's still out here. How you been, man? How's it doing? All right. You know those guys in the white van? They did come by here. Did they throw something out the window? Huh? Did they throw something out the window? I ain't seen nothing, though. No, they did. I don't know. You don't know? Which way they go? About that mail box right there. That's where they threw something out at? Do they live there? I don't know. Right about between that mill, but they stopped right there. Mm -hmm. Holy, they went right there with the you didn't pick up anything that they threw? Sir? You didn't pick up anything that they threw? No, sir. Just hang out over here for me. I ain't got nothing. I'm looking for myself, my, my phone. All right. Yeah. Is that the same guy that? Uh, is it? Is that the same guy that one time was shot? Yeah, take it, take it. I, I, I'm not sure. He said that's where he was actually standing when he threw it. So I'm looking for something that the uh, driver or that van or passenger of the van might have thrown out. One of the other deputies um, stated he saw them throw something out uh, right around this area. So we're just going to try to look, see if we find anything, um, and then go stop back out with the uh, other deputies that are actually stopped out with the van. So I don't know, somewhere right here, we'll, we'll look around. As part of the what he's seeing? Yeah. 8 and 13P stopped yeah. it, and he's got a habitual. Habitual. Is he really? Yeah. 60 months. Habitual traffic, traffic offense. Good. Five years. You want to see if you can find the 57? Yeah. That's yep, yep. Good. I'm like that other side. Yep. Try now. No, no, I'm just. He's saying it's mama's. It's mama's car? What we're going to do is we're going to cut you a break. We're not going to tow the vehicle, but the actual owner of the vehicle has to come pick it up. Um, what's the phone number? Four. Once I called the other deputies about the van, is real suspicious, just turning corners and kept on turning corners. Um, looked like he was trying to evade me, so I, I told the other deputies just to sit and watch. He continued to turn corners and turn corners. Uh, one of the deputies said that he might have thrown something out uh, the window. Um, deputy paid, conducted a traffic stop. Um, once we conducted a traffic stop, we figured out uh, through uh, 911 and our computers that his uh, license was suspended. Uh, not only was it suspended, but he's a habitual traffic offender, so which makes it a felony. Um, sometimes when we uh, when we arrest somebody, uh, we allow the owner of the vehicle to pick it up, um, or we can tow it. But in this case, there's a lot of tools back there. The guy must work with his hands. He must be good with his hands. So. Uh, some kind of carpenter so we'll instead of towing the vehicle and having to inventory all the tools and worrying about tools being stolen we just go ahead and uh we call the owner 
Okay, I got him east on um, Avenue M.